Alex Gregory with MacReviews.com here. External hard drives are uh, extremely important for uh, laptop users, MacBook Pro users, but of course any laptop user, PC users too. And uh, today we're going to be looking at a, one of the tools of the trade that you can find at the Apple website as well. It's made by Lacey. Um, this is a very cool to the touch uh, Lacey D2. Quadra. Quadra stands for four, meaning four interfaces, uh, external serial ATA, which Mac really doesn't support, which is not good. I really like to see that in every MacBook Pro, uh, at least, to have an eSATA. And then it's also got USB, obviously, and uh, Firewire 400 and 800. What we're going to be doing on this one, this is the standard that's been out for two years now. Uh, the 500 gigabyte version is a one. Uh, terabyte 1.5 terabyte let's upgrade this one with a uh, 2 terabyte drive in this case we're looking at a an excellent excellent Hitachi uh, enterprise drive with a five platter design um, great energy saver and super super uh, long-term um, long-term uh, you know durability supposedly um, it's got 32 megabytes in the uh, shade. You'll have to open this one up and uh, exchange the drives. So um, this is not something that Lacey really wants you to do or suggests doing. They just want you to buy more drives as you can see. But we'll, we'll do what we have to do. Here comes the screwdriver. We're gonna, let me see, let me back up the, uh, the um, camera. I'm gonna lift this here a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go in here. We're gonna go in here, so. I'm gonna unscrew. We're gonna go unscrewing these. So, uh, like I said, I pre-unscrewed this a little bit, so this it's a long screw coming out, it's holding the front plate into place. Um, we're gonna have to do this here as well. Yep. Pull this out. It's just a screwer up there. That doesn't sound right, but I just said. Right, anyways, here it comes off. Then we have this part here, this should come off too. Yep, came easy. Almost ripped out the pound the button here. Look at the insides. Uh, you can see, let's get a little closer here. You can see the uh, 4.5 inch drive in there. Front plate, just the front plate comes off too, since it was held. The screw, there's the infamous backup button, right? Let me turn this this way so we know what we'll have to do to make it look like uh, original. So this is part one. So now we have to get, obviously we have to get this drive out. All right, so in order to do that, we're gonna remove the bottom screws. This came with this, right? My Omega supplies, I'm sorry, Lacey supplies you with it, um, but can be found at any hardware store. Um, and IKEA, the IKEA of your choice will have it. Bram, you ruined it. No worries. <clears throat> so we're looking at the Unibody external. Um, Hard drive, it's literally a unibody. That's why I like it. Oh, you see this thing here? Um, it slides out and we have screws here. Are you ready for this? We have most, oh yes, most needs covered with this special screwdriver set. There we go. And then come right back with you. All you have to do now is pull out the tray and grab the drive here. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. So this is basically the insides. I'm gonna turn this like that. This is basically the insides of your of your hard drive right there. You have a Barracuda 7200 in there. That's a Seagate. Pretty good. Uh, not all lacy drives have the same uh, drive in there. You really don't know what you're getting. 
but usually they're pretty good with putting uh, quality drives in there. Okay, so we're gonna unscrew this uh, and put in uh, the new drive. We have this major screw here that we're gonna remove. There we go. All right. From this point, it's fairly easy. We just pull off the drive. As you can see here, here's the connector, uh, the serial ATA connector right here, and we're gonna replace it, the Seagate Barracuda, with a Hitachi. Oh, I'm sorry about the confusion here. Enterprise drive. Ooh, ooh. All right, one, sorry, I'm getting emotional here. Uh, two terabytes, so let's put that back into place. Um, I'm gonna slide this back on. It's not that hard, but still you wanna be a little bit careful. All right, so we have the drive here. And now it is time to slide the drive with a somewhat of a, a little bit of a force back into the connector and uh, just double checking to make sure that the screws here line up. So we did that, we're gonna put the screws back on and then put the drive back together and then clone everything from the old drive over. And you know what, we could actually use this Vantech, um, this Voyager, I keep saying Vantech, I keep saying Vantech, I need to stop doing that, it's a Voyager, um, um, and use the old drive and put that um, in here. So here we go. Okay, so now putting things to apart is easy, but putting them back together is a little bit harder. You got a rail here at the bottom. You make sure you align with this rail. Uh, that this part here, this bottom part of the of the of the base sort of uh, lines up and go, goes into that in, into that rail. And then on the top you have this little uh, ledge as well. So they need to line up. And then you can slide it in. It should slide in automatically. So here we go, sliding it in, doing this for you. Uh, if it doesn't slide in like this, then you're you're missing something. You're off the mark. So we're sliding in uh, this part here. This generic piece with three holes. Even though this part has only two holes, it seems to be plastic. This part, but it doesn't matter because it's the whole. The rest of the unit is so cool to the touch. So we'll just bring this back on here. So we can move this around a little bit. That seems about right. Here we go. Tighten it. Um, so the base is back on. Here we go. All right, so the base is back on. The next thing we need to do is put the back plate on. Um, Sure. Gently, 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 gently. I think I overdid it already. I have a tendency of doing that. Not that bad though. Here we go. Here we go. So this is uh, in place. We flip it around. And um, that's the general idea that we're trying to do here. Put the front plate back on. So move the camera. This is what I'm doing here. Okay, what we want to make sure is that this the shield in the back plate here comes on, doesn't stick out by any means because then the back, otherwise the back plate, the back cover, um, this one here is not going to go in uh, all the way. Uh, there'll be a tiny, tiny gap, which is what I just experienced, um, which is what you don't want really. So make sure that everything lines up. Let's see if this fits snug. Absolutely, yeah. Completely snug here. So we have this those screws here. They go back in, move forward. Put the uh, front plate with the magic blue button back into place here. Let the screwing begin. I think we're pretty much done with that. Acts very quickly, reacts very quickly, and has higher transfer speeds. Although you know we're limited on the Mac as we speak, which is change pretty soon. Uh, looks great. We are going to um, um, go on to the next project. All right. That was easy. That was tacky.